What's going on, YTPC? Four Eyed Piper coming at you. Tonight, I've got a really fun, a bat just flew by my head, a really fun video <laughs> to share with you. Uh, because I got some love from a fellow YTPC member, Flat Cat Piper. Hold on, let me light up. And his lovely wife, Lady Briar. I've been enjoying their channel for quite some time now. Really, really fun uh, channel to watch. Um, they do a lot of reviews on room notes uh, for tobacco. And he uh, has his lovely wife tell him what she thinks of the tobaccos that he's smoking. Um, mine does too, but mostly it's like, that smells like crap. Zach, put it away. Just kidding. But anyway, um, I'm actually smoking, and forgive me because I tore into this sucker, some Lady Briar approved mystery blend that Flat Cap put together himself. Uh, I'm smoking it in my Dagner Cobb poker. And this is the third bowl that I've had of it. Uh, I have to say, I'm not a very... Um, avid aromatic smoker but this is pretty delightful so I'll do um, you know my first impressions of this real quick and then he asked for all of us all ten of us who received a sample uh, to make a guess as to one of the blends that's in here um, and I think I might have an idea I'm not Again, I'm not really widely versed in aromatic pipe tobaccos, but I think I might have gotten lucky. I could be wrong. I think I might have gotten lucky in that I have smoked one of the blends that's in here. But you never know. I could be way off. Anyway, uh, let's look at the tobacco. Had the lovely Lady Briar approved sticker on there, which I tore. Apologize. Um, let's see here if you guys can see this. Here's the tobacco, very dark brown. Uh, some red tones in here. Um, there's definitely some flakes of dark, dark brown or black tobacco. Let's see if I can get it to show up. I know the lighting's not great. Anyway, uh, really dark. Upon smelling this tobacco, uh, I'm picking up a lot of chocolate. Uh, that's the first thing that comes to mind. And then maybe a little bit of coconut. There could be vanilla in here. Sweetness for sure. Um, but it's definitely a blend of multiple tobaccos, I can tell. Uh, when you light this sucker up, um, it the first two bowls that I smoked stayed lit right through. This one, for whatever reason, uh, I'm having trouble keeping lit. Wow. I really should have had the pipe widow come out and tell me what the room note was like. But she's in bed. But it's nice, there's really no bite at all. It stays rather cool, in my pipe at least. And I think my cadence has slowed down quite a bit. And I definitely get chocolate or cocoa, more of that kind of bitter cocoa flavor um, on my tongue, but there's a sweetness in the background too. It's not overly sweet to me. <coughs> Excuse me. And it tastes a little like Red Virginia's. <clears throat> But I only get one guess. And uh, the guess that I'm going to put in here is that it has some burly light without bite 
in it, actually. Um, although I don't pick up a lot of visual cues for Burley, I think there is some of that in here. Um, it has that kind of chocolate coconut flavor that I would associate with Burley Light without the bite, which I believe is a Sutliff blend. And I've had that before um, from uh, another member of the YTPC who pressed some for me. Yeah, so that's my guess. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm completely way off, but uh, I have to think I've, I've, at least in the ballpark, some respect. Guys, thank you so much for... Um, sending me this delicious tobacco i will definitely enjoy the rest of this bag and uh, if you guys have not been over to flat cap piper's channel get over there and uh, give him some sub love uh, more to come from old four-eyed piper but until that time we'll see you later <laughs>